Hey everyone, and welcome to today's General Hospital reaction. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or reactions slash recaps. Today's going to be like my new kind of recappy thing, so I hope you enjoy. Yay! It's really not going to be that much different than usual. I First, I just want to thank everyone who filled me in on the Phyllis reference. That really helps. And now I have some more knowledge, so thank you very much. So, okay. The courthouse. The custody trial. Uh, Rick grills Michael, like, pretty good. <laughs> like, he's pretty, you know, vigorous. And But Michael, I don't know, I think he responds pretty accordingly and pretty great until Claudia's brought up, and then it's, like, a whole different ball game. But Carly kind of sinks what Rick was trying to do because even though it seems like Sonny's fine with letting Rick frame this whole Claudia thing as Michael, uh, Car as Michael's fault and, like, Michael was at fault, Carly happens to walk in and sets the story straight and then Michael goes back along with it pretty much exactly what Carly was saying to show that he was really the hero in the whole situation and you know I don't like Rick I mean I like him when it comes to him and Elizabeth but as a person I don't know you know I'm not warmed up to him and I like him when it comes to him and Molly but on his own I really could probably care less and as you know I love Michael I'm uh I lost my place I'm always going to have Michael's back I'm sorry um but I'm not sorry <laughs> um you know Rick is grasping at technicalities to bring up the fact that Michael was adopted by Sonny and is nothing to Avery even though I don't know I just think that's a pretty horrible thing to do because if someone's adopted it doesn't make them any less of that person's child and I guess that has less to do with the actual show and context and more to do with just real life and how I feel uh yeah seriously dude seriously I wrote that uh <laughs> sorry the sunglasses are making me feel really cool it's really sunny today like it's ridiculously sunny today and speaking of Sunny, Sunny does one good, you know, Sunny apparently does one good heroic thing in his life, or at least fairly recently. It's the only good thing they're bringing up. And apparently that wipes out all of his uh, past and his criminal past and just everything. One heroic thing, and suddenly he's been a saint his whole life. So... Just putting that out there. Let's skip over to Shady Brook. Oh my goodness, if this thing doesn't stop losing my place, I'm going to throw it against the wall, but I'm not because it's an iPhone 6. So Nina slaps Franco, and I'm pretty sure we all cheered because whether or not you like Franco, he deserved to be slapped. I mean, come on. <laughs> and, you know, they're arguing about him lying at, in the email. What? And Nina, uh, obviously her feelings are hurt because he's lied to her and it just brings up a bunch of old emotions of Silas lying to her and everything. And she starts telling him how she got back into Shady Brook and brings up Jamie, 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 Jamie. And I'm like, okay, even though like you recognize Jamie... Avery is not yours. The fact that you still feel the need to call her by the name you gave her, eh, uh, you probably shouldn't be released. Sorry, not sorry. And then Nina and Franco make up, and then Nino, Nina and Franco make out. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. I phrased it that way just so I could do that. Yay. Okay, so Julian. Julian chokes Carlos, and at this point, I'm like, it is a very violent episode today between the choking and the slapping. And Carlos tries to convince Julian that Sonny actually killed Ava, and he didn't. And Julian's just, like, not having it, right? And then Carlos asks for a job in Julian's organization. And apparently, since they come to the consensus that everyone knows the rules in the organization and Ava wouldn't have done anything differently, uh, it looks like Carlos and Julian are back in business. So there's that. Did you see that coming? I didn't see that coming, so I have to give it to you if you saw that coming. Silas and Ava at New York Methodist Hospital. Last episode, last reaction, I kept calling it church, and I'm watching it back, and I'm like, oh my god, why do I keep saying church? I'm so mad at myself. Uh, so, uh, I'm... Oh, was the custody battle, like, really newsworthy, like, to have it live stream on the news? Like, really? I don't know. I'm not buying it. 
But in any event, Ava sees Carly on her tablet because it streams the news and, you know, she's upset and she doesn't want Carly to be Avery's mother. And, um, you know, <laughs> Ava starts getting really upset and telling Silas how, you know, once Avery gets old enough that, you know, she'll understand Carl Carly. Really? I mess up my own name? Uh, Carly and Sunny are going to tell her how Ava is such a horrible person and how Ava, you know, she grew up better not having Ava in her life. And at this point, I'm like, to be fair, Ava, like, you're a horrible person. Like, you're a cold-blooded murderer, a master manipulator a million times over. And, like, say what you will about Carly, but I'm pretty sure, at best, it's the pot calling the kettle black. Like, at best. And at worst, it's like, yeah, uh, I can't even think of something right off the top of my head because this makes me look like I have no nose. But, I don't know. I like it. See? I'm blocking the sun for all of you because the sun, look at that. It just washes everything out. Um, but apparently Silas still cares about Ava and Ava still cares about Silas and Silas isn't going to turn her in and because he once loved her, blah, 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 blah. And is it just me or that now that Silas isn't with Sam, like, I'm kind of over him. Like, I don't care. I really don't. Like, if I didn't see him on my screen, like, I wouldn't care. Is that bad? Is that just me? Are you feeling that way too or is it just me? And at the hospital. So, Elizabeth, Jason or no Jason? Like, he literally just woke up from brain surgery. And, like, you're going to drop this bomb on him that you like him. And you potentially want to be with him. Like, what is that? And uh, Sloan comes in and Elizabeth's all upset. And before they even let Sloan talk and say the reason he's there, Elizabeth, like, gets all dramatic. And I'm sorry, I hate saying that but like she really does and jumps down his throat and is like you'll take him to pet and bill over my dead body and I'm like chill out let the dude talk like before you threaten your dead body like just just let the dude talk and apparently Sloan is going to drop all the charges against Jake we know the real reason why and that didn't count as a yawn I did not yawn all the way I haven't yawned this whole time I'm very proud of myself um uh, da, 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 now I lost my place because I got so excited. And S Sloan wants Jake to work undercover in the Jerome organization. And it's either Jake be a rat for the Jeromes or be a prisoner. So what would you choose? Because, you know, snitches get stitches. That's what I hear. I don't know. The first time I ever heard that, I was on, like, the kindergarten playground. And I wasn't a snitch. Well, I didn't know what a snitch was. But I was going to tell the teacher that someone was, like, doing something they weren't supposed to. And I was told that snitches get stitches. And I was like, okay, then I, I think I'm just going to walk over here now. I'm pretty sure they were, like, climbing on something. They were, I don't even remember what it was. I just remember being told that snitches get stitches. Just, you know, a little anecdote from my childhood. And a shout out to Shriners Hospitals, Hospitals for Children. Because... Uh, they seem like they're a really awesome organization and awesome hospitals, and I'm really glad that General Hospitals are bringing attention to organizations like that. I am not going to yawn. I think I've done really good today on the yawning front. Um, maybe I just have to sit up like this and it, 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 you know, stops the mechanism. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, we are four away from 300, which is awesome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and give it a like if you like this video. That would be pretty cool of you. And I will see you tomorrow for General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye!